Okay, I've got a survey. Write down one advantage and one disadvantage. Uh, advantage. It's cheaper to survey a sample rather than the full population. Disadvantage. It will contain error. I'm not going to write full sentences, sorry. A survey is carried out to investigate the amount of exercise. The advantage is cheaper, but the disadvantage is errors. Um, like you could get unlucky and get a bad sample. Okay, uh, a random sample of 1500 people took place in the survey showed that the margin of error is uh, is 2.6%. Uh, so what you do, the formula is it's 100% over root n. So if I type that in, that is indeed, yeah, like root n, where this is n, 1500. So I do get 2.58 blah 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 so to one six one uh one decimal place it's 2.6 percent 71 percent said they walked and this and it was 71 percent of 1500 so that's a thousand sixty five use your percentages in b1 and b2 to write down a 95 percent confidence interval for the percentage of adults in Ireland who walk for recreation. So it's 71% plus or minus 2.6%, which equals 68.4% to 73.6%. Uh, according to that, carry out a hypothesis test, find out this figure 65% has changed in 2022 based on your uh, results of the above. Calculate, state clearly your conclusion and give a reason. Okay, so um, they're claiming that 65% of adults in Ireland walk. But but our confidence for the 68.4% to 73.6. So I would conclude that this is false. Um, we do not support the claim. Sixty five percent walk. And the reason is because sixty five percent is not in the confidence interval. It's uh, not in it. Confidence interval begins at 68. Assume that 20% of adults in Ireland jog for recreation. Three adults are picked at random. Find the probability that exactly one of these adults jogs for recreation. Yeah. So what that's saying is that's 300 because 20% of 1,500 is 300. Three adults are picked at random. Find the probability that exactly one of these adults goes for a jog. I think this is a Bernoulli one, actually. No. It's not. Okay, so... 300 over 1,500, that's a jogger. And then 1,200 non-joggers. And then 1,159, 1,498. So this is the probability of getting a jogger, not and not. That's 0 0.1238, blah, 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 blah. But the problem is, uh, no, okay, it's not 20% of our 
it's not 20% of our sample, it's 20% of people in Ireland. So what you have is, let's say, jogger, non-jogger, non-jogger. So that would be 0 0.2 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.8. Then you could have non-jogger, jogger, non, and then non, non-jogger. So there's three ways this could happen that you could get exactly one. So you multiply them out, those three, and add them up. What do you get? Forty-eight over one two five. If you add them all up, multiply them out, and add them up. Yeah. Sinead is joining the gym. She will be able to use the gym and also go to classes. She could pay for individual classes at sixty class. She estimates that there is a thirty percent chance she will go to no classes. Sixty she'll go to one class. A week and 10% should go to two class week. What is the expected cost? Okay, so either no classes, so no cost, or 52 classes, so that's 52 times 6, or uh, 104 classes times 6. Uh, and this is a point 0.3, a point 0.6, a point 0.1. So what you do is you multiply the probabilities by uh, their outcome values. So this one, that's a zero. That's 172.20. And then 0 0.1 times 104 times 6. That's 62.40. And then you add those three up. So that's 249.60. That's the expected cost for her. There are two price plans, silver and gold. 420 for the year, pay six for each class, 670 for the year, all classes are free. Work out the least number of classes that you'd have to go to so that the gold plan would cost less than the silver plan. Okay, so six. When would the silver plan work out to be 670? So when would you get 670? So 420 plus 6 times the number of classes. So take away 420, you get 250 equals 6x. So x equals 41.6. And you can't have 41.6. So if x is 40 two the silver will cost more than the gold so the gold plan will cost yeah 42 is the break even for her let's test it out 420 euros plus six times 42 that would come in at 672 so she'd be saving two euros for going with the gold one as long as she goes for 42 classes in the year. Okay.